The shows that we had were security, fire and safety and what we wanted was something to really glue those together. I joined in 2009. I think the industry and the show have developed in tandem. The industry has become broader in its remit and the show has done the same in terms of our exhibitors. I think an event like the Facility Show is so important to industry because um, it uh, brings people together. Uh, there are three core things really. Um, uh, innovation, it allows uh, suppliers to be able to show their latest products and services. It provides great information and insight for people with the lecture theatres and the, the discourses uh, around the event. And also it's a great opportunity to network, to bring thousands of people together uh, to not only renew acquaintances, but be able to discuss best practice and new ways of doing things Things, the world is a changing place and it's an important venue to be able to do that. The challenges that we faced uh, when launching it were like any new show really, which is to ensure that what we delivered was what the industry wanted. As the facilities show has grown, the industry has grown with it, so the two things have, have been very closely associated uh, and now the UK leads facilities management on a global basis in terms of thought leadership and in terms of how, the, how we define facilities management. BIFM are very proud to be in association with UBM on this show because it's vital for the industry. Shows like this really give you confidence and knowledge to be able to take new ideas forward to the board. What I really like is that the barriers between what used to be waste management and what is facilities management started to fizzle and disappear. It's about resource efficiency, it's about sustainability. And talking to like minds across what used to be the divide, brilliant opportunity, good buzz about the place. It's important to get outside of the day job and to be able to talk to other people about what their problems are and how maybe they've solved them. We can learn a lot by that way. Also to be able to talk to suppliers, see what the latest trends are, see what the latest products are. It's great to be able to read about them in a magazine or on a website, but to get out there and to feel them, to touch them, uh, to go around an event and network with people, there is really no other alternative. The facility show has given us a fantastic opportunity to meet FM managers from every corner of the UK that you can think of, every sector that you can think of, and that's really important to us because when we're talking resources, that matters to everybody. The remit uh, of an FM has expanded massively over the last few years. They, they've taken on greater responsibility and also their level of seniority within an organisation has changed. They've become more senior and we're beginning to see FMs get onto, onto the board more regularly now in larger firms. I think some of the large global trends have driven innovation in FM in 15 years. For example, we're all aware of climate change. That's driven a huge sustainability agenda. And for many of the product suppliers, that's enabled them to develop new products, to be able to innovate, and of course, FMs and industry to be able to benefit from that. In recent years, the thing I'm most proud about is our energy management zone. Uh, that came from an idea that reflected the move in the industry and, and the responsibility for FMs in terms of energy management. It grew from being a small area with a seminar theatre. Next year, it's going to be its own show in its own, in its own right, Energy and Environment Expo. With the move to Excel in London, there's going to be loads of new changes, lots of innovation, some great stuff going on. Things like facilities show TV, dedicated interior stuff, lots going on which we're really excited about.